friends, welcome to Blogmas Day 18. I hope you are very well. Today, I would love to recommend you 12 um, middle grade books that could be um, read for the 12 Days of Christmas in Cosmos Readathon. Some of them are Christmassy, some of them are mysteries, and some of them are just charming and adorable. I will try to do this video. Uh, short <laughs> because there are 12 books. I would love to hear if you have read some of these books and if you already have chosen your uh, book for the readathon, if you are participating, or also if you are reading any middle grade during December. Okay, so let's start. So the first one is Christmas with the Savages. Uh, this is a book I've talked a lot about in my channel um, in the last uh, days and I definitely recommend it. It's very lovely and charming and it is an Edwardian Christmas. So very fun. The second one is How Winston Came Home for Christmas. And this story is as lovely as the first one, How Winston Delivered Christmas. It is very lovely and heartwarming, and it also has a charming advent calendar. And the illustrations are really cute and sweet. Can you see Winston? This party. I love it. Definitely recommend it, very relaxing and heartwarming. Then if you want a fun, fast-paced story, uh, I recommend Top Elf. I read it last year. Oli and Celia are going to compete because they want to become the next Santa Claus. And it is about friendship and uh, also the audiobook is very good. Then The Miracle on Ebenezer Street. I, this book is on my TBR for the 12 Days of Christmas and Cousins Readathon, but I couldn't resist and I've started to read it, but I will finish it during the uh, readathon. And um, it is very lovely also. There is a tiny um, elf who is very, very funny and sassy and witty. So also recommend it very much. Then I would love to recommend Pages and Co. This is a really a middle grade uh, series for bookish people and I am so happy that I picked up this book. It has to do with imagination and uh, wandering in books and also getting to meet um, classic characters like Alice in Wonderland, uh, Anne of Green Gables, Shakespeare, uh, also writers like Shakespeare, Jane Austen. Now there are five books in the series and this year I read um, three books in the series and I It, was, I, it is really a lovely experience, very interesting and relaxing and fun. Then some middle grade mysteries, historical mysteries. The Midnight Peacock, this is uh, the fourth book in the Sinclair Mystery series that takes place during Christmas. They had really interesting historical details and it's about a group of friends. So there are lots of nice uh, examples of friendship and also there's a lot of adventure and then two mystery series that I've enjoyed very much also this year. Uh, the first one is Aggie Morton uh, and this first one is the, ball, the Body Under the Piano. This is the first one in the series, uh, how they met uh, Hector, Hector Perrault and Aggie. Aggie is a uh, 12 year old and uh, Hector is a refugee. I love to read about her interactions and, and inspiring Agatha Christie. Uh, so really also lots of fun. Then How to Get Away with Myrtle. This is the second in the series. I've, I've read that many uh, adults also love this book because it is really well written and it is, it is a sparkly, energizing, vibrant. Uh, the protagonist is a very uh, witty, sassy, uh, intelligent girl and her governess helped her solve the cases and you don't get bored with this book and also uh, I love 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 the audiobook and the third one in the series takes place at Christmas so also very interesting. Then two classics that I read this year for the first time for middle grade March. The first one by Let's Choose also very very lovely really really heartwarming. It is about these three girls that are adopted by a professor but he leaves them alone because he he wants to travel and his niece and the housekeeper take care of the girls and i love just the the family the found family 
and the interactions with the tenants of this big house are really lovely. Then the wind and the willows. If you start reading this book, you will be surprised, I think, uh, you have not heard about it before, how cozy and how lovely and warm and uh, it, it, this book is and the nature's descriptions, uh, the just all this world and this is, it's just such a different feeling to the to contemporary books uh, so I really also recommend this book also a book that I discovered two years ago when I first participated for Middle Grade March Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's library there are many books in this series I think the cover is maybe not so appealing for adults but uh, if you read it it is uh, really fast paced and very interesting because it is about how to escape from Mr. Lemoncello's library there are lots of bookish details and details about very important books the class classics and it's just relaxing and a lot of fun and if you are a Jane Austen fan, I always recommend the series Awesomely Austen uh, with funny illustrations. <laughs> so cute. Let's open the calendar together. I am very excited, like always. Okay. Wow, I have no idea. You? Ah, oh. wow. I, I, I also, I love it, but I'm surprised because we already have a gingerbread Mickey. I love them. This is an elf, and I don't know this one. It's just a Christmas Mickey. I love them. I think this is my favorite because of his clothes. I hope you enjoyed this video, please uh, if you have some recommendations for me leave it on the comments and I will be seeing you tomorrow with another vlogmas video, bye!